Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Atlanta Football. Today, we are talking about how the Tennessee Titans win the 2024 NFL Draft. We got seven rounds for you guys today. Let's do this thing. Titan fans, I know, for, for me to you, I'm going back to the full screen. For me to you, I know for your draft process, and you, you try to find videos that are exciting and a trade here and a trade there, it's been pretty boring. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you guys. I feel bad for y'all's content, but... It just makes sense for this one kind of player, and hopefully he's there, and then if not, you're going to get what you want. We're going to get a pivot on the board. Let's see what happens in round one. Let's do this thing. Titan fans, let's get it going. All right, let's get this draft started. Let's see how the board falls. Caleb, Jaden, May, Marvin, Malik. Would you look at that? You've seen this guy taken in numerous mock drafts over and over again. You're saying, Cade, I'm sick of hearing the name Joe Wall. I'm done. I'm done. Guys, I know it may be boring, but for those of you that know the impact this guy is going to make on your team, you're going to be very happy you drafted him. And Joe Alt is a fantastic player. Welcome, Joe Alt. You are a Tennessee Titan. He's going to absolutely kill it for you guys. I will see you guys as pick 38 overall. Titan fans, we are back on the clock at 38 overall in the second round. What do we want to do here? We got our alignment. We could always go more. It never hurts to get alignment. We could go wide out. We can go edge, DB. We got some talent here. Very good talent. Look, we got TJ Tampa. Love that. We got Mike Samer still. Like him a lot. Let me just show you all the wide outs. We got Troy, Roman, Ricky, Burton, Keon, Polk, Leggett, Worthy, McMillan. We can go anywhere. We have tons of wide out options. And for this pick, we don't pick again for like 60 something picks. I'm guessing we don't have a pick in the next round. That is okay. I think we need to address wideout right here. With all the options on the board, we get the pick of the litter. Looking at all these wideouts, I think it's between three guys, in my opinion. Four. Let's do four. This, this receiver class is so talented. Worthy, Leggett, Keon, and Troy. Right here at 38 overall, those are guys that are draftable in that position. Who do we want on our team? I'm going to lean with Troy Franklin. The guy, he gets open. And he catches the ball sometimes, but he definitely gets open. Troy Franklin is a straight-up burner. And he's going to have a happy home in Tennessee where he'll be playing for the Titans. I'll see you guys at our next pick, which is like 70 picks out. Back on the clock at the top of the fourth round. We had no third-round pick. That thing is gone. When you're on day three, you're finding the best player on the board that tries to fall into our need categories, but we're not going to force it. You feel me? You feel me? Let's do this thing. We got Vaki. I want to stress... That he is actually going to play, look at this, running back in the NFL. This guy played three receivers. Look at this. Running back, slot receiver, safety. He plays all sides of the ball. This dude can do it all. He's going to play running back most likely in the league, so he's not actually a safety. So don't. I, the point is, I'm not going to pick him. And I know we need a DB, but he's not exactly a DB if, the, if you're tracking what I'm saying here. Let's keep it going. There is a prospect I like a lot, and he fits a need. Javon Solomon. The speedster off the edge. This dude is going to be fantastic in the league, in my opinion. Great edge rusher, speed, violence, and precision is what we got right here from PFF. Love this guy, and we need an edge player. Welcome to the roster. You're going to be fantastic on the Tennessee Titans, Javon Solomon. We are at the top of the fifth round. Titan fans, who do we want here? I think he's looking right at us. We need as much O-line as we can get, baby. We did get Joe Walt. He's going to hold it down at tackle, but we could get a very good rotational piece and Cooper Beebe, baby, out of Kansas State. He's the Wildcat. This is very perfect. This sums up perfectly. Not super athletic, but, man, he's got good IQ, and he'll be a good rotation piece in that O-line and could start for a team if needed. Cooper Beebe, welcome. You are a Titan. Let's do this thing. I see you guys to pick 182. We got three picks left on the board. Let's review who we've taken so far from the beginning all the way to the top. We got Joe Walt, seven overall. And our second pick, we got Troy Franklin, the wideout from Morgan. And our next pick, we got, we had no third rounder, so we went all the way to the fourth round. Thus, we picked Javon Solomon and Edge Piece. And then we keep going all the way to our next pick, which was Cooper Beebe, the guard, out of Kansas State. And now we are here. So we've addressed the line for sure. We're good there. We could get more wideouts, potentially. Edge, always we could throw more on there. And then DBs. You can never have enough DBs or edge rushers. Let's see what's on the board. Jalen, solid value right there. But I think... The guys we need just keep falling to us. Pritchett out of Auburn. Not the biggest dude, not super strong. Like, he's 6'1", but he's pretty light. If he gets stronger, he can be a good full-time player in the NFL. But we'll take the swing. He's got the speed and the quickness to get it done. Let's develop Pritchett and see if he can turn into something special on this team. Titan fans, we were in the final round. We have two picks left back-to-back. -back. Let me show you. We are basically Mr. Relevant two times in a row. We got 242, and then 10 picks later, we got 252, and the Mr. Relevant is right there. The Jets have both of the last picks. They get a nice pair right there for their team. Here we go. Who do we want? Let's find a player on the board with some good value. 
as we are this far down the board on day three of the draft, but there is one position that is undervalued and not drafted quite as much as it used to be, and with that, talent slides. In the running back group, I like Carson and I like Jahar Jordan out of Louisville, the speedster. He didn't run fast during the combine, but his tape shows his true speed. Let's go with Jahar Jordan right here out of Louisville and get him with pick 242, and we'll go on to our last pick for the Titans. With our final pick of the 2024 NFL Draft, the Titans will select... Let's look for a position of need, because there's no screaming value here, as we can see. So I'm just going to take somebody we definitely need. Kenny Logan Jr., welcome. We need more safeties if we can get them. Kenny, you are a Titan. Let's review this draft. Here we are, Titan fans. This is my mock draft. Let's review. We got Joe Alt in the first round, Troy Franklin in the second, Javon in the fourth, Cooper Beebe, a rotational guard in the fifth. Then in our sixth and seventh round picks, we got Pritch at the cornerback. He's a little bit light, but if he gets stronger, he could be something real. Jahar Jordan out of Louisville and Kenny Logan Jr., the safety out of Kansas. This is it. What did you think? What would you change? Drop it all below. You can't offend me, guys. I want to know what you would change. You guys are the true fans. If you've watched this far in the video and you've enjoyed it, please drop a like. It helps me out tremendously with all these videos. I'm making. If you enjoyed this format of this mock draft like I got going right here with the PFF mock draft simulator, I got one for every single team on the way. Majority are already out, the rest are on the way. Subscribe down below for more content just like this. And if you subscribed and if you liked the video and you were just a super fan, we have a brand new Patreon, not here, but here. We got two Patreons in our all pro tier. Thank you, Cisco. Thank you, David. They get an additional weekly video per week and access to our QA sessions. And then at our MVP tier, mom is holding it down. She gets full access to our rookie draft guide. You get five draft day tips and a bonus tip tier based rankings for quarterback running back wide receiver and tight end and of course a one pager cheat sheet so on draft that you are marking these guys off as the draft goes by and you're going to dominate your rookie draft for dynasty fantasy football thank you guys for spending your time with me today and watching this video i appreciate you more than you know love you guys have a good one peace now listen up, y'all. It is time for the 2024 NFL Draft Wide Receiver Tier List. And this is the first time I have ever had, I mean ever, had two players in my God Tier. Let's get it started. Introducing my two players in my God Tier. Y'all know their names. Say it with me. Marvin Harrison Jr. out of OSU. And Malik Neighbors out of LSU.